Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hurt. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like twere his own. He was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must have eyed me, cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I sees he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He's right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? Afore dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come morn, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a feared to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. A corpse. That monocle explains the standard thing. What's that, dearie? Nothing, nothing. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going bar me. Ah, the priceless frying pan. Hm, scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Documents, almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found the pan, have ye? Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot, and I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... and the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilfgaardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny, for the road. Fry up a nice white fish for
Giddy up. Ugly bastard. <gasps>
Show me what you got. Stop! Yes? Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you? You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. Stop! Stop. Nord est ulf heiden en meras. Es a drug meras. Es a tuven ulf heiden. Nere, daich eden ne vane eseth. Es a thorgan de kai wortius. Thou nordling. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore. The sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Mm. Fry up a nice white fish for supper. Or a pipe. That's it, Roach.
We have much work to do here. Quite a lot. Military. I look. You look dead wrong. A witch? Captain Peters. Guessing you. These. Stop. Goltais Griffe is under. Ep. Burp. Nein. Ep. Streda. Arsandian Calabar. Heard of the Vrai Head Brigade? Your kind, sir. Nord Est Ulf Heiden. En Meras. Es a Droog Meras. Es a Tuven Ulf Heiden. Nere. Steichene. Es a Folgen mit Keil. Heeri Gloir. We must requisition a share of your harvest. Hi, Your Excellency. I know there is little left in your granaries. Do not get food, so not from me. Too, and so they must eat, correct? Hi, Excellency. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it. And I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Temeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain. Ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands or hire a professional. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? 
Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died, look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm-hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about the... Shall I bring... They won't... Mislav. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es sund jagten. Password. Dunno any. So, out for a little walkie, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we've a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick-skulled quartermasters? They got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well. Morale holding up around here? You boys think you can win this thing? Ah, a spy after all. Or one to stir trouble. Neither. Just curious. Right. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. As everyone knows, and we've an extraordinarily well-drilled and well-supplied army. Incidentally, did you wish to buy something? I'd like you to craft something for me. Show me where you're peddling. So long. Are you here to spy or haggle? Show me where you're peddling.
so long. Let's think a fight at the valley in Nordling, but ask to lean as a little fight. Es war decent. Es war more a pest. Es heat. Du bekade mich es. In this. Es decent high. shall guide us straight to Novigrad. Lane dead at the game at Avon Eau. Leather Nordling.
This is too much. Edley! Move it! Oh. You just wait. Who knows what the morrow will bring? Whoa there.
you Freak. see? Gilea. Who told you that? Uh, Chetty. Now listen carefully. You're never to sing that rhyme again. Never. Come on, Roach. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trail's fresh. His love just left home. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh... I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. Have these dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spine. Too late. Attacked another one. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. I'm a freak too. Aye. But of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... The Lord's son, Florian, and I... We loved each other. Dieter walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. I'm sorry. Ah, ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. Griffin, know anything about it? Well, not much. It's not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods, 
No griffin can hear me nor spy me. was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Grounds black, saturated with blood. Nelf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. A camp. These prints are older, and deeper, heavily armored. Nelf Guardians probably. Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Female. Larvae in her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other Griffin must be a male. over the whole body. 
Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Done all I could. Should talk to Vesemir. Come on. Come on, Roach. Get up. Come on, Roach. Hyper-eyed Hellraiser. Think those plums are wreaking havoc on me gut. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Show me what you got. So long. Viper-eyed Hellraiser. It's raining, it's pouring, Emperor Mir snoring. He bumped his head when he went to bed and wet himself good morning. What? What do you say? Let me a hand in the Who taught you that? Uh, Chitty. Now well, listen carefully. You're never to sing that rhyme again. Never. And you're not to play with Chetty no more. Oh, Chetty's Ernest, a little what? fool. We'll get us that all killed. Was my... Ah! Which way you walk? Himself. By all the gods! Boydemar, would you raise a glass with me? It's Durban now. D-R-V-A-N. 
not going to mark. I think those plums are wreaking havoc on my gut. What do you mean? I know what they named you at your cutting. What kind of name is that hey, anyway? Hey, good man. Whose field is that on the other side of the river? He told me about Boy in clinics. It's a young man. It's not okay. Greetings. Let me have a look at your stock. Take care. They could have sewed their back on. Word is they laid his corpse to rest. I shall show that back. Looking for trouble. Oh. <laughs> Heard of the Vry Head Brigade? Your kind, sir. Non humans. Greetings. Let me have a look at your stock. Take care. My grand told me about this. This is a yonder ain't a black one day, so I folk nabbed a witch that was hunting nearby. It's like poking him ass. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Learned some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. 
Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss, standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already, other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Me there. Freak. Stream, amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on, we can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Kaer Morhen. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. Lectured us on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking, got a griffin to kill. Watch out! It's about to die!
It's fast! Get away! Not bad. Not bad. Though, you could stand to improve some things. For example? Upward vertical strike. It's too obvious. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn.
Let's go. Come on, Roach. Hey there. Run, Roach. Place of power. Should draw from it. Ugly bastard.
Let's go. And Medetta, Estreth SN Novigrad. What the hell is this? Roy! You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. No, I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a nout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tcha! <laughs> a moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Faster. Monsters! Monsters from the swamp! Folk said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened, and how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked. Ran clear off the road. 
we hit a bump. I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck. Devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afeard to go and see. Thought maybe you? I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me, I beg you. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. tracks rode off into the swamp. Here's the cart. Carts riddled with arrows. Interesting. I should take a look around. An arrow? Didn't mention this. Carts riddled with arrows. Carts riddled with arrows. Interesting. I should take a look around. An arrow? Didn't mention this. Carts riddled with arrows. Square in the neck. Good shot. Either the merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying.
Must be that box he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood. Oh, and you find the box? Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding, like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. Ugly bastard. Gotta get him out of here. W Wake up. See? Can't run from the truth. Not even on horseback. Now who are you, and why'd you attack that cart? Private First Class John Girmer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine. Our lads could use it too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live, and fight once more for a free North. I'm taking you to the Nelf Guardians. You're a murderer, not a soldier. And you're a traitor. There's a scaffold out there with your name on it. Hey, soldier. Waiting on a late transport by any chance? What? Yes. Uh, Corporal Lifnich set out to command headquarters for medicine. He has yet to return, though he was due back several days ago. Medicine's here, in this box. And this is a three-in-one. Liar, thief, and your corporal's murderer. Plow yourself, mutant. Captain Peter will see to him. And you, Nordling, deserve our thanks. The medication will not save our men's lives, but it will ease their dying. Your soldiers falling sick? What with? I do not know. I do not ask. Those who take an interest are usually sent straight to the front. Gotta say I was kind of counting on a tangible token of gratitude. A golden, clinky one, in fact. I thought you acted from conviction, not greed. 
But if that is not the case, here. So you'll remember and tell others that Nilfgaard is generous with those who serve it willingly.